Hi there, this is Ben with MakeUseOf.com, and today we're going to talk about the best places to download free software for a Windows computer. Now there are an untold number of sites on the web that will offer free software for your computer, and whether you're looking for popular tools, or something a little bit less known, you can find it at a bunch of different websites. But the problem is that a lot of these websites offer a lot more than just free software. Uh, they'll have fake download buttons, uh, fake virus pop-ups, and other kinds of deception that you just don't want to have to deal with. So whenever you want to look for a new piece of Windows software, we found nine sites that are generally pretty safe to visit. Uh, they don't offer fake downloads and other things like that, but it's still important to be vigilant. No site is 100% safe, but we're pretty sure that these sites are the best ones that you can go to. No matter where you download from, do keep an eye out for third-party offers during installation. So our first site is Ninite. This is a site that a lot of Windows geeks are very familiar with. Uh, the main draw of Ninite is that it lets you pick all the apps you want and install them all in one go. Um, so they have a lot of popular software all here broken into categories. And if you check everything you want, when you're done you can click get your Ninite. It'll, it'll put a small file on your computer that will go ahead and download all that software for you. Uh, Ninite is all automated, so it automatically says no to toolbars and other junk like that and you don't have to click next a hundred times like you would if you were installing it yourself. The other benefit of Ninite is that you can run that installer at any time and it will automatically grab the newest version of the software. So if you don't want to use a different file uh, software updater tool, you can just run rerun your Ninite tool and check for updates at regularly if you want to. So Ninite is a great option if you're looking for popular software, especially if you're just setting up a new computer to go ahead and grab all of your big ones like Chrome, Paint.net, 7-Zip, all in one go. Ninite is really great for that. Our next one is Softpedia. You've probably visited here. Uh, if you've downloaded some software that's not as well known, it's probably brought you to Softpedia. Uh, generally another good website. Um, one of its strengths is the recommendations. So if we just jump onto a random tool here and scroll down, a lot of the times Softpedia has a quick review of the software, and then at the bottom you'll see alternatives, both free and paid. Uh, so this is a really great tool if you're looking for a piece of software that maybe that's paid and you're looking for a free alternative and you don't know what that would be. Softpedia is a great place to check for that, and its downloads are clean without any extra junk as well. Our third site is Major Geeks. This is another one that, like Softpedia, a lot of people uh, link to Major Geeks to, to host their software. It does look like it's a little bit out of the early 90s, mid-90s web, uh, but you can rest assured that it is safe. And while it's not the most beautiful site, it's still um, totally fine to use. So you can jump on any uh, tool here and you'll find download links with it. Uh, pretty standard stuff here on Major Geeks. Another good site to use. Our next one is File Hippo, another well-known site. Uh, it does offer categories, so if you're looking for a new tool and you're not exactly sure what you're looking for, you can go into a category. Um, another highlight of File Hippo is that it has an app manager, which used to be its update software. Um, if you use this, you can run it on your computer, and File Hippo will find tools that you have installed that it can update for you, and then it'll automatically open up new browser tabs for you uh, so that you can just go ahead and download the updates instead of having to hunt them down yourself. So File Hippo is also a good place if you want to download older versions of software. They do offer that on the right side of the page, so you can grab an older version if there's a problem with a new one. One of our next ones is File Puma. Uh, it doesn't do anything particularly amazing to differentiate itself from the other ones, but it, it like File Hippo, also offers an update detector, and its categories are particularly useful. So if you are looking for a new tool in a certain category, it does have these little descriptions and sizes, which is nice if you're worried about installing something that's too big for your computer. So File Puma is another great uh, resource to check. Our next one is Download Crew. Uh, this one does suffer from a bit of a crowded interface, as you can see here, especially on a widescreen monitor. There's a lot going on, a lot to process, uh, and the ads are kind of crammed in uh, with the other content. Um, but one of the uh, benefits here is that these it has these short descriptions. So if you're looking for something and you just want to know, like, what does this do for me? Like, oh, what's CUDA text? Oh, it's a notepad replacement. You can jump on that right away. And it also offers these star ratings and download numbers to show you how often people have downloaded them. So it's good if you're quickly browsing through and you just want to get information and download as fast as you can. 
Uh, Filehorse is our next uh, download repository. This one, like Ninite, doesn't offer a massive amount of software, but what it does offer is really popular. So if you're looking for a piece of free software that's really well known, chances are that you'll find it here. Um, and it won't you won't have to dig through a lot of like small time stuff because if it's here it's probably a well known one. It does offer more than Ninite, uh, but you do give up the the convenience that Ninite offers. So it is another good place to check. It also offers Mac software. Coming to the end here, our next one is Snap Files. Um, this the biggest draw of snap files is that every day they have a daily freeware pick on the front of their website so if you're someone that just likes to install new software just to see what it does uh, you can come on here to the daily freeware pick and see what they're offering today um, other than that it's a pretty standard download site as well and our last one's a little bit different donationcoder.com uh, they do not offer a wide variety of software uh, like the other ones that we've looked at. Instead, they actually only offer their own applications. So they, they've created a small set of applications that they offer for free, and all of their site is run on donations, so they don't have any uh, spyware or toolbars bundled in with, with their software. It's all on donations. So this isn't somewhere you would come if you were looking for a popular piece of software, but if you're looking for something that fills a specific void, maybe you would find it here. So those are our top nine sites for downloading software. Remember that you can also download software from uh, official websites. So if you're looking for something really popular like CCleaner, Adobe Reader, Google Chrome, you can download that software right from Google's website or Pureform's website or Adobe's website. Um, but just again to remember, most of the time you want to keep an eye out for fake download buttons and offers when you're installing software. You always want to do the custom installation if you can because that will keep you safe when you're installing that software. But if you're installing from one of these nine sites, chances are you're going to be safe. Just keep an eye out because sometimes with these sites, other companies will buy them and then they might drop in quality here or there. So to summarize, those are our top nine sites for downloading software. We think they're pretty great and we hope you do too. For more content like this, be sure to keep it here at Make Use Of's YouTube channel where you'll find helpful tips and tricks, reviews of the latest software, giveaways, and more to get excited about. Until the next video, we'll see you guys later.